Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up FTP transfer with the Canon EOS R5. Now if you haven't watched our wireless workflow video before, go ahead and watch that first. We've included the link here in the description below. In this video, I'm only going to go through what you need to do in camera to connect via FTP to PhotoShelter. Now you can use something other than PhotoShelter, any FTP site, but that's just what we use. Now if you haven't set up your PhotoShelter account for FTP transfer, uh, go ahead and check that out in the link below also. And we have a PDF that walks you through how to do that. Let's go ahead and jump into the menu on the R5. So go ahead and hit menu. And you're gonna to wanna to go over to the wireless menu right here. First of all, you need to click on Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection. And we're gonna connect transfer images to FTP server. So I'm gonna hit set and add a device to connect to. Uh, configure online. And it's going to search for an access point. Now select the wireless network. You need to be using a wireless network that does not have a splash page. And splash pages require an authentication or acceptance of terms before the user can, can use that network. The cameras cannot deal with that input. So that's one of the first things you need to look for. On campus, we have a lot of venues that have a free public Wi-Fi network. In these venues, Sometimes the Wi-Fi coverage isn't great, so we'll set up our own network, which means that we'll bring a router and plug in it, them into an Ethernet port. But we also use portable hotspots or even our phones with a hotspot when we need to. I'm going to go ahead and choose my iPhone and hit Enter. Now, for open networks that don't have a password, you can just skip to the next step. But if you have security that you need to enter a password for, go ahead and click and enter that password now. Once you've entered the password, you're going to hit menu to accept it and then hit OK. Then on IP address setting, you need to hit auto setting. On this menu, you need to choose disable. And then on mode select FTP. Next, we need to enter the address setting for the FTP server. Because I'm using PhotoShelter, I need to enter the, the ftp.photoshelter.com. And then go ahead and hit Menu. Uh, for PhotoShelter, the port number should be 21, but your FTP site may be something different. Just make sure you check on what the port is that they require. And I'm going to go ahead and, and click OK. On passive mode, I'm going to go ahead and hit Enable, and then hit OK. And then on proxy server, we're going to leave it on Disable. For login method, let's go ahead and select Login Password. Enter the login name you created on PhotoShelter or the login name listed on your FTP site. Then go ahead and enter the password that you created. Next, select Root Folder. Hit OK, and looky there, we're connected to the FTP server. Now, after you've connected the FTP server, you want to go ahead and hit the menu button to go backwards and go into the menu called Wi-Fi settings. Once you're in the Wi-Fi settings, drop down to FTP transfer settings. And this is where you, you, you set it up and customize it to what you're trying to do. Change transfer with set to enable. If you want to make sure that the camera won't disconnect from the wireless network, change the power saving setting to disable. It's always best to shoot in RAW plus JPEG and send only the JPEG files. Don't try and send the RAW files because it will take forever to upload, it'll bog down your network, and it just won't work. You could set your camera up to send just the JPEG by going to this Wi-Fi settings menu, then choose transfer type and size and RAW plus JPEG and select JPEG only. Once you're connected and you've taken photos, all you need to do to send them to your FTP site is hit the set button on the back of your camera. And that's it. To demonstrate this, I'm going to take a picture of our amazing students recording the video right now. Now when you hit play and you see the photo come up, that, or there's that box with a set button next to it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the set button on the back of my camera dial 
and you can see that it starts transferring the file. Up top it shows that it's transferring the data, and when it's completed, that set box will be filled in with a dot. And there we go. The file is now on our server. Now with PhotoShelter, we have an app called FileFlow, and I can just go ahead and open up FileFlow and look. On our site, there is that beautiful photo of those excited students recording this video. There's one more really cool thing that you can do with FTP. You can actually send video clips via FTP. Let me show you how. I'm gonna switch over to video mode. And we're gonna record a quick clip of Ryan and Maddie. There's Ryan, there's Nate hiding behind the tripod, there's Maddie. Great. In order to send video clips, what you need to do is go to the Wi-Fi menu and drop down to image transfer. When you click on image transfer, image select, and FTP transfer. Switch over to select image, and then you see there is the, the video clip that we wanted to send, so I'm gonna hit select. Sorry, I'm gonna hit the set button and then rotate up till the check mark comes up. And then going back to the menu and hit FTP transfer, start transfer, and then what it is doing is it's sending that video file. And this is where it gets a little quirky. What you need to do is hit the mode button on the top of your camera and leave video mode by hitting info. And now hit the menu button, image transfer, and it's now able to send the photo. For some reason, when you're in video mode, it will not allow you to FTP video clips out. So by switching back to the photo menu, you can. And now I'm gonna check on file flow, and yep, there you go, there's the video file. I think it's really cool that the camera allows you to share video clips through FTP. That's something that I think will be really useful for a lot of photographers. And there you go, that's all it takes. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask those in the comments below. We'll do our best to help you, and we'll see you out on the sidelines. Mm -hmm.